All right, everybody, please welcome Meg Gibbs. Number one. Number one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. All right. So take a deep breath with me. Have you ever noticed what it's like to be fully aligned, awake, and alive in your body? It's like tuning into a radio frequency. So I'm a little nervous, and I'm going to really intentionally put my feet on the floor, and I ask you to do the same. And check in. Your whole job the rest of this talk is just to notice what you feel in your body. You can do that? Awesome. So the baseline frequency that our body talks to us at is like a toddler. It has a lot of needs and wants. It's saying, I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, feed me, I want to go outside, I don't want to do my homework. And if we don't listen to that toddler, then it turns into a full-blown crisis. This is when we get sick. This is when our stress levels are off the charts. This is when we have stopped listening to our bodies. So when we have these crises, instead of hitting a wall, I want to invite you to preemptively solve these problems. So what if our body and our intuition were actually interchangeable? And our body is the encasement of our intuition. Our body is how we get in touch with our inner knowing. So point to where your intuition lives in your body. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Some people are pointing to their heart. Some people are pointing to their belly. Mine kind of lives right here. It's like these little whispers that come in through my ears. And so I'm going to invite you to join me in tuning in to a deeper frequency. Because again, when we listen, we can solve these problems without having to hit a wall. So again, take a deep breath. So instead of responding to this toddler, what if your body manifested as your best friend and it sat across the table from you and could say, I love you, darling. I want the best for you. Here's the guidance. Here's the wisdom. Here's what you need. In our society, we're taught that our head, our heart, and our body are three separate entities and they don't talk to each other. So my job is literally to open this channel of communication so you can hear what's going on within you, so you can act from there. So in a moment, I'm going to ask you to stand up with me and do a short exercise. So on the count of three, I want everyone out of their seats. One, two, three. Awesome. Thank you. So the point of this is I want you to feel it in your body rather than in your head. I want you to strike a pose of your best self. Don't think about it. Ready? Go. And hold it. And hold it and breathe. And notice, where does your intuition live in this position? Just take it in and let your feelings come up. Do you feel bashful? Are you excited? Do you feel aligned and alive? Just take it in. And now look around this room at these beautiful, weird, strange people who are all doing this with you. Everyone is standing and showing their best self. Imagine a world where all we had to do was stand up and be our best selves in the world. You can lower your hands and take a seat. Thank you. <laughs> so take a deep breath and feel what's going on in your body right now. Notice how it feels to be you. There's wisdom in here and we have these big questions. We wanna know if it's time to move across the country or take this job, if this is our soulmate, if we need more chocolate. And every question that we ask, we have a feeling inside. There's immediate rumbling here. All we have to do is tune in and listen. So again, I'm going to ask you to breathe. What does it feel like to be you in this moment, to be in your body, to have that adult best friend sitting across from you, wanting the best for you? So this is your gift to go home with this pose, to do this before bed, to do this in the morning, before a big meeting. You can even do it with other people. But I want you to check in, and when you have these big questions, you can actually find your own answers just by turning down the noise and listening. Because I believe that when we heal our relationship with our body, we can show up for the people that matter most to us and the work that we want to do in the world. So you are now one of these brave, weird people. And I want you to take this into the world with you. So when you leave here, 
think about this. How can I be my best self? Because all it took was one person asking, do you want to join me? If you want to go deeper with getting in touch with your intuition and your body and how to heal the relationships in your life that matter most, this is how you can contact me. Thank you.